Hi, welcome back. In this short session, <clears throat> we'll be discovering how to put the shoulder harness on, which will help to keep that openness through the front chest, shoulders moving back, and avoid this sinking position where everything's sinking in the front, the head is being thrown forward, and you get this tension in the neck, tension in your shoulders. So I'll start from the beginning, I'll take it off, and just show you from the back what it looks like. I'm sitting on it. It's a little loose because I want to just take it off and show you how to get into it. So here, the shoulders are being, the front armpit chest is lifting, the back armpit chest is descending. And then with that extra strap, I'm able to create a little tension and extension. And then I'm gonna be sitting on that, but I wanna make it tighter first. So here, you're feeling that the shoulder blades are moving down, the shoulder blades are moving forward. You're sitting upright. And then if you were at a desk, at your computer, wherever you are, you can be in that seated position for a while to make sure you're aligned. Okay, so I'm gonna take it off and then I'll put it on. So you can see what we're doing here. All right, so it depends on the length of your strap. So this is pretty much a medium strap. It's a little on the short side, but not too short. I have one which is buckled on the very end, so it's at its widest position. And then the other one is over, looped over the bottom of it, and it's a little bit shorter. This is the one that's going to pull down that you saw on my back, and you're gonna sit on that. So first, once you've organized that, you're going to take the strap, bring it around the back, and put it on like you're putting on a jacket. So just make sure that the, it goes across the neck, everything's folded nicely, and then take, find the bottom of all of that. Just take it all in your hand, because you've got an extra loop down there. And then you're going to bring it up and bring it, take the strap where the neck is, lift it up, and bring that whole bit in. Okay, so now it got a little bit loose. So I wanna adjust it, bring it around the armpit area, and then bring that part down. I can hold it here. And with the feet on the floor, the feet underneath the knees, Collarbones wide, shoulders rolling back. Elbows moving towards one another. And I'm sitting right on the edge of the chair. So I'm not back in the chair. I'm not slumping, like usually sitting back like this. So we're right on the sitting bones. So find the sitting bones. Be on the edge of your chair. Feet underneath your knees. Thighs parallel to one another. Now, this is a little bit long. so. I want it to create some more tension, some more extension, drawing the shoulders down. So I'm gonna shorten it. So everyone, strap is a little bit different. You may have a different length on your strap than I do. Might already be short. So just find that, uh, the correct length and bring your hips into that strap. So I'm gonna stand up to do that. And I'm gonna open it up a little bit bring it around my hips, and then sit down so that it stays right where the sitting bones are, and adjust. So now, I feel like it's still a little loose. So I'm gonna stand back up, and I'm gonna shorten it just a bit. If I shorten it too much, it will be hard to bring my hips into it. So now, bending forward, bringing it below the hips, getting it to stay sitting there. Bring that strap right in the middle. And then with that strap under the hip strap, drawing the tailbone down and lifting the front armpit chest, descending the back armpit chest. You can just be there. 
So getting used to how that feels. If it's not tight enough, then you stand up and you do it again, making it a little bit tighter so that you can feel that it's taut. There's no extra, extra slack. So I'm gonna even do it a little bit more so that it makes it hard to sit up. So I'm gonna hold onto the strap, lift up, and come up. I'm gonna do it again, make it a little bit more. Coming down, there. So now I can feel that it's firmly pulling my shoulders down. Dropping the tops of the shoulder blades, which are the flat edge, moving the lower edges of the shoulder blades down. As you widen through the chest, move your shoulders back. You can take your arms back on the chair or take them through the chair and widen through the collarbones. Move your shoulders back more. Stretch your fingers. Be on those sitting bones, so not leaning back or forward. Use your feet to Move yourself in the center and lift up through the crown of the head. And sit, take your arms up, lifting up. So as you lift your arms, still the shoulder blades, the shoulders, tops of the shoulders are moving down. Outer hips are moving down. Pubic bone is lifting, looking straight ahead. Straighten the arms. Stand up with the shoulder blades moving down and forward. It opens the front armpit chest. Back of the head is lifted up away from the shoulders. Chin is parallel to the floor. Straighten the elbows and lift. And then bring your hands down. Okay, so you can play around with this and find the right tautness on that strap so that when you're sitting that you end up sitting straight feet underneath the knees and if you're not using the strap you still will have the memory of that strap what it was doing you can bring your hands back behind you and just observe how that feels to sit straight okay we all get in bad habits we lean forward we lean back, lower back is falling. So here the lower back is lifting up, the abdominal area is lifting up, chest is lifting, and the shoulders are directly over the hips. So play around with that, enjoy the benefits, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Namaste.